away from the action that practice me. So I thought it would be quite a nice opportunity to say farewell to a few of our guys that who uh, who made an incredible impact uh, this season, but uh, you know most of them over the over the course of, of the entire career. First, I want to speak to Bill. Um, Billy's on-field on -field contributions, um, probably to his own admission, not quite where he wanted to be, but the, the contributions that he did make. And I remember the back of my mind, I remember the province game as well, that very, very nicely there, and the contributions that he has made on the field. Um, if he wants to come back next year, I'll take him straight away. He's an incredible cricketer, he's a wonderful cricketer, and as a cricketer, I want to have him back next year. But I also want to talk quickly about Billy's off-field success, if you will. Um, wherever, wherever, wherever we go, if we go and play in any single ground against any club, this guy's swamped by players. This guy can go anywhere. They'll have him in a heartbeat. They know how good he is as, as, a, as a cricketer. They know what an incredible guy he is. And he chooses us. And I think he chooses us because, well, hopefully we may feel like he's safe, he's secure, he's loved. And so, Bill, thank you so much for your contribution to Cape Town of the season. And I'm sure we'll see you soon. So, to raise the time. <laughs> or actually, did he have a look around and he say hello to the guys and then he say, like, actually, I'm quite keen, I'm quite keen to come. Um, nevertheless, the rest is issue. Clint did come here for the, for the, next, for the next 11 years. And I, I think Clint epitomizes what Cape Town Creek Club is. Oh, sure. Cape Town Creek Club is so much more than a sexy cover drive on, on a Tuesday and Thursday. Cape Town Creek Club for me is rejoicing and celebrating your guys success around you. Cape Town Cricket Club for me is knowing that the club is so much bigger than you. Cape Town Cricket Club for me is looking around you and guys you love, and I don't use the word like them, looking around the guys that you love when you have been 70 for one and going, like I still love it. Don't encapsulate that. He's done that for the last 11 years. He's never taken a game off. And in sort of, in sort of closing here, I sort of say that Kinney was, Kinney was quite a difficult chair. I haven't prepped much of this, but while I have the audience, you don't mind. And Clint uh, was quite a difficult job. I think he tried to chase my girlfriend in when he was in grade 11. <laughs> <laughs> is that when you are in, which every single person is standing here today is in, you must feel lucky that you're in, because when you're in there, ah, he loves you, and he will go to war for you, and he will battle for you. And I'm so glad that you didn't play in another club because I would have got a big screw at least three times a year. I'm very, very glad with that. So, Kitty, just in closing, this opportunity that you've got, you're stepping massively outside your comfort zone. Um, but we are all, and I made the joke the other day when you phoned me and you told me, I've never been so happy and so sad at the same time. We are, we are so glad that you've got this opportunity. We are rooting for you, we are supporting you, just like when you are batting out there. Penny, you've been an absolute superstar at this club. I don't think it's the end, but I will say that so far it's been an absolute honor to play with you. We love you, keep playing straight, boy. <laughs> 